welcome back welcome back <clears throat> excuse me everything is ready only what we need is we have to find the elements then locate the elements then pass the parameter and click on the login button okay so usually we are taking four actions or four steps uh, in selenium one is finding the elements by locators we will find web elements finding you can say web elements by locators and uh, we have very eight specific locators in selenium web driver and we find web elements by this eight locators using this eight locators then we locate the elements okay then we pass the parameter and click on login button if there is any okay so mm. we are going to do it now let me show you i just right button click and run yes test ng test okay it's invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com and not passing the parameters because we haven't find the web elements using the locators eight locators okay and um, locating them and passing the parameters and clicking on login button we haven't done them yet so how we can do it i just right button click anywhere within this page or application that we are going to test okay mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, right button click then click on inspect and you see there is an arrow icon arrow icon is called inspector this inspector is sleeping now you have to wake mm -hmm. him up okay it can be mm -hmm. him or her okay i'm not sure <laughs> wake mm -hmm. it up click yeah. here and it becomes bluish you see usually okay, yeah. it looks like black but when yeah. you click here it becomes bluish, bluish when yeah. it is bluish it becomes active and okay. Okay. just click on user name field or email field or area when you click you see the inspector make your job easier what it did it select the elements web elements that are used to develop this email or phone number area okay okay now we cannot see it clear because it is small, right? Let me make mm -hmm. it bigger. Can you see now? A little bigger, yeah. I think. Yeah. Let me little. Okay. You see, the tag name is input. Okay. Input. Mm -hmm. The tag starts with input. And check in your eight locators you have also tag name tag name is here 
input, right? Mm -hmm. Input, input. Okay. And let's check for ID. Can you see here ID? Is there ID? Uh, yeah, there's ID. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there is an ID. You see? There is an ID. Where? Here it is. Here is ID. ID is equal to email. Locator is ID and the value for ID is email. We need both actually. And we have another locator input, okay? We have another locator class. You see class is there, mm -hmm. okay? And we have another locator that is name equal to email. Mm -hmm. How many locators are there? One, One. two, three, three. four. Oh. So, some area, email area, phone area, might have one, two, three, four locators, not more than four, I guess. Some may be more in another sense because if you right click here and go to copy, okay? And you see there is copy selector, meaning this is CSS selector. And you can find also copy export, okay? So mm -hmm. there is also export, you can copy. So we have four, five, and six. Six locators we can find here. Okay, another two locators we don't have here, that is link text, mm -hmm. text for the link and partial link for the text, okay? So mm -hmm. we have ID, here we have ID, ID equal to like something like that. And we have also name here. So we can say name equal to something like that. And we have also export. Let's see how does it look like. I, I'll show you. And we have also CSS selector, we have input, we have class also. Class, it will be class equal to something like that. Okay. Now let's mm -hmm. see. I see. Um, Look very carefully. I have inputs, is input, class is this. Let me just copy class equal to this. Okay, let's go. I just to uh, show you how does it look like. Okay, and mm -hmm. let's go back and bring name equal to email. I just copy, okay name equal to what is name 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 no name is name or class uh, i think name this is class okay name is email name is email and this is class actually sorry i made mistake mm -hmm. class is this okay and let's see, yeah, this is class and ID is email. I just copy ID is email, ID, ID is email, okay? And mm -hmm. what else? We have also export, I said export. How I can get it, right button click copy and copy export, okay? Actually, we can also create our own export. Later, we will learn it. Export is, export is equal to, 
this one okay it it is starts with double slash star meaning all then um square square braces at the rate then any locator name then uh, value for the locator we will learn it step by step don't worry about it if you okay. can remember it right now don't worry about it uh, by practicing we can master on it and we need also what do we have we have input tag is input here tag mm -hmm. name is input i already write it so we have css selector okay let's check for css selector right button click copy and copy selector selector is css selector okay uh what is hey, right here css selector is this one Okay, hmm. now let me make some space so that you can read it very clearly. Okay, hmm. and you have to remember these are interview questions. How many locators are there? Could you please name them? Or can you mention uh, their names or four names? Uh, at least mention four locators, something like hmm. that. that. That's okay. Now we know our locators. We already find them with the help of inspector, right? And mm -hmm. we just write here, okay? And I can now choose from here what I'm going to pick, how I'm going to locate. Uh, let's go back to our test. This is test cases right i say test method at the rate test annotation a is telling that this is a test case okay actually mm -hmm. you can have multi test cases you can have two test cases 10 test cases 50 test cases depending on, on the how large uh, the project is okay how mm -hmm. large the software is okay now, I just want to comment it and how we find the web elements. See, I say driver and I'm telling the driver, driver, find element. You say find element by locator. Find element by locator. Find element is just a method. You see, it's a method because there is parenthesis. Find element, it's action verb, action, okay, method. This is inbuilt method from uh, Selenium, okay? Find method by, I want to take by, then I, you see, there are locators, you see, ID, class, class name, CSS selector, name, partial link text, tag name, hex path, okay, by class name, meaning by class. And BB selector, uh, we don't need actually that much. And also by ID, by link text, some more, okay. We need just eight, I think in, Selenium 4, we have more locators. We will uh, see it later on, okay? Mm -hmm. And we will learn step by step. I'm taking name. You can choose any locator. It really doesn't matter, but I will prefer ID because ID is unique. I will prefer expat because expat is unique, okay? You okay. can choose anything, actually. I choose name, say, for example, I just double click here and by name, name is locator. And here I just put the value for name locator, okay? We just copy and paste, name is, where is name? Name is name equal to email, right? I mm -hmm. just copy, 
I just copy, copy and say uh, name is email. Now, where we get it? You see? Name is email. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Just double click and you can copy from here also. Okay. So then we have another method. You see, when I put dot operator, it's giving us a lot of methods. I just find what I need. To Then I have to pass parameter, the email address or username. To pass the parameter, in Selenium, we have a send key method. You see, send keys right here. Just double click or press enter. Send keys is there. And what we are going to send in username field, we are going to send an email address, QA automation, job news, just the username at the rate gmail.com. And I create this uh, Facebook account just to practice, just for practice. Facebook authority might close it anytime. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, it is just fake account just to uh, test, to okay. practice, practice, okay? Okay. And Facebook is real application, the biggest application in the world, one of the biggest, one of the uh, largest applications. I think the largest one. Okay, mm -hmm. then, then, you can actually, for password, you see, I'm just copying to save the time. I'm not writing it again and again, you see. I just mm -hmm. copy and paste. I need to also test this password field, okay? Now, mm -hmm. let me close it. Let me close it. Close this Facebook application and let me run it. Look whether you can pass the parameter. If everything is fine, then it will able to uh, pass this parameter into uh, username field. If it cannot, meaning this element is not working, you, you have to change the locator. You can choose ID, you can choose expert or any other locator you can use, okay? Uh, these are a little bit challenging, definitely, at, at the very beginning, especially. But mm. once you practice five times, it seems really easy. Okay, you see? Okay. Yeah, the, it, it able to pass the parameter. So everything working fine as expected. I just right button click and inspect element. Actually, I can... Uh, go there and find it here. Right button click, inspect, and I can make a little bigger and go to inspector again. Every time we uh, choose any area, pass field or password area, click here, mm -hmm. and password area has been selected by this inspector. Uh, it's it made our task easy. Now we can see we have input, we have class locator. This is class. We have name locator and it is passed. We have ID locator, it is passed. Or we can choose expat, just copy. Or we can choose copy selector, okay? Now, I want to choose ID, okay? Double click and just right click and copy. What is the locator? Locator is ID and the value for locator is pass. I copied it. Okay, I go back and I already copy this, okay? You can type it, but I'm lazy engineer. Okay, lazy engineer and instructor. As an instructor also, I'm lazy as a teacher, I'm lazy teacher. So I just copy 
and I know it is ID, locator is ID, and I copied the value for ID locator is us. Then mm -hmm. again, I had to send key and uh, this is, I know this is past field, meaning password and password is automation. Say for example, one, two, mm -hmm. three, this is fake ID again, just to uh, practice the automation, okay? You can also practice using uh, this one. Mm -hmm. All right, then the we can actually we the software development engineer in test or full stack QA engineer. What we do every line of code we program or write the code after termination. Uh, we just right button click run and test. We execute the test. Whether it is working fine, we double check, okay? We make okay. sure every line of code is working. You see, <clears throat> it passed the parameter, meaning our locator is able to find the loca locator and locate the elements and passing the parameter. Now, the last action we have to take is we have to click on login button. We are not manually clicking. If we manually type uh, username, password, then click on login, it is a manual testing. Every person, individual person, every single day we are testing software without knowing, without knowing, without understanding any concept of software testing, we are testing it every single day. We are testing banking application. We are putting username, password, and login, click on login to login into your banking application, right? And also you are clicking on logout to log out from the application. We are doing it. We are creating um, also different accounts on uh, online every single day. We are uh, clicking and testing forgot password every single day. Maybe M most of the people do it. I also do it. I cannot remember my passwords. Every day I'm changing almost every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every human being is a manual QA tester. Okay. It can be learned within a day. Okay. Within a couple of hours. Okay. And Manual testers are paid around 75K, it's UK dollar, okay, to 95K, hmm. okay? And automation engineers uh, usually starts from 85K, to actually, uh, there are senior automation engineers, test lead, mm -hmm. test architect, they even make more than 250K. Wow. Okay? But so they must have even, a lot of experience, right? Yeah, even, even more, even more. <laughs> software developers, software engineers, they make, uh, they start slow, maybe. They start like 65K first year, second year, maybe 75K. Then they jump. Third year, they go uh, 110K. And every year, their salaries are, are increasing. Uh, in the long run, software developers uh, or software engineers, they in the long run, okay, mm -hmm. after three years, they make more. Actually, senior engineers, they, they're making maybe 300K, okay. Mm. Uh, lead making maybe 350, 300, 250. Uh, and um, architects, software architect, mm -hmm. they are, some are making 
even 500K when they become CTO, okay, CTO making even mm, double, double mm. or 500 plus. And when they become CEO, okay, CEO, it, CEO actually depend on company to company. Some companies are paying maybe uh, four times, five times, okay? Mm. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually those who are software developer or software engineer, mm. their sky is limit. The limit. Sky is the limit, okay? Mm. Meaning no limit, yeah. but, but test engineers, uh -huh. test engineers, they have limitation. After mm -hmm. one point, they stuck, they cannot grow. Okay, test test architect may be just one people, but mm, software architect may be multiple positions. Okay, then they have CTO, they can be CEO. Uh, actually, sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, but it requires a lot of practice you have to go there, you have to practice, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but in America, I see 65 years old, even 70 years old, people are making it, okay? They make yeah. it possible. Even in uh, 74 years old, become president, right? <laughs> yeah, everything <laughs> is possible. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's amazing. possible. Yeah. Right, okay. Click on inspect. Oh then click on uh, inspector, okay? Uh, interview mm. question is, what is inspector? What do you do with inspector? Just say, inspector is look like an icon, okay? It's a supporting tool in, um, in uh, web browser. It is, is Google Chrome, Google Chrome, or you can say in Selenium, and it helps us to find elements easily, okay? Okay. Uh, then I, I'm going to take it, and I just, uh, I just look at the locators. I have button, button is a uh, tag name, I have class, long class, I have name is login, and ID is U underscore O underscore five underscore S9. Remember, when you find ID like underscore, we call them dynamic elements, dynamic web yeah. elements, meaning mm. it changes, it changes. When it is changes, when you execute the test and it will change. Instead of five, it will be six maybe, okay? Next time it will be seven. So you cannot find this element because it is changing, okay? So when you okay. find any element like underscore, especially IDE, don't choose it, okay? Mm. Uh, sometimes it will give you correct, sometimes incorrect, okay? So I'll choose uh, either expat or login here. Uh, sorry, name here. So I'm taking name, okay? Or I can choose expat if you want and choose expat. And later on, we will learn how we can customize our expat, okay? Uh, this is very important because it is very important questions, maybe. A mm, couple of questions will be asking. It is a must question on interview. What is expat? How you customize your expat? This is very important question. We will learn it in the next class, okay? This is mm -hmm. very, uh, we have to learn it very detailed. Then I go to project and I just say, uh, this is name, name equal to this one, right? Mm -hmm. I just paste here, login. 
and I know I need this much and I just copy and I know the action I'm going to take here is what click okay click method and mm. I'm taking name the locator is name I'm changing ID to name okay and I know the value is login okay I just copied it okay now fantastic we are almost done okay just right mm -hmm. button click run as test ng test now look it's invoking the browser and successfully started started successfully navigating to facebook.com passing the parameter and quickly click on login bar and what do you think the test pass or fail it should pass. Yeah, it passed because expected result is user should be a login, login with correct username and passwords, and yes. we able to log in, right? Yes. So tests passed, and we see it passed. You see, one test case, one run, one pass is green. Okay and we can see here also now yes. i just want to uh, say uh, system dot out twin l and i just copy always i love copy and paste and change a little bit i just say the test completed I'll say successfully, successfully. Always follow the best practices your company is following. Some company may mm. love this to write the test successfully completed or test pass. Some company may not, okay? Always check their framework. This is a test ng framework, meaning mm. we are using a template to complete our tests and we call it framework okay you can okay. just type uh, what is a test framework on google and find the definition okay uh, now it's invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com passing the parameters and click on login button it takes a little time though and it clicked finally and closed the browser. Close, not closed. Okay, maybe we comment it. Let's check. Uh, yes, no, we uncommented. So it should be closing. Uh, let's see again. You see, it will open here, browser opened and and pass the parameter, click, and finally, mm -hmm. not closed. Or oh, it's telling us to allow it. It should be closing. It's not closing for any reason. What's the reason? But test is passed one run one pass no failure skip okay let's double check um, oh we say enable false so we have to remove it now okay we want to run this test case also okay now check very carefully uh, right button click run as test ng test application uh, invoking the browser started successfully the browser navigate to so quick even I cannot follow and the tests completed successfully okay mm -hmm. understand yeah oh just, right. just, just a lot to assimilate <laughs> yeah One time. yeah better so, so yeah. just uh, 
watch these three short videos and practice okay. two, three, four, five times before you come back to class. And okay. the concept is clear, I understand, but if you don't practice, uh, yes. uh, the concept will not be embedded in your heart and mind. Your brain, okay? yeah. Okay. Okay. And All if right. you are, if you can learn this much, now you are junior test automation <laughs> engineer. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Good night. Uh, good night. Mm.